Good morning. <clears throat> We're going to discuss uh, preventing the rash from poison oak, poison ivy, poison sumac. <clears throat> the oil urushiol is um, what actually, which actually causes the um, um, the rash. Um, and the key is simply to get it scrubbed off. It doesn't matter so much what you use as long as you scrub and you scrub it vigorously and you scrub all points on your, your skin that have been exposed. Uh, again, I don't care what product you use. In fact, you could just use um, a washcloth, uh, use the sand in the bottom of the creek. But you got to get that oil off and you got to get it off after every exposure. <clears throat> I suggest that if you go into the backcountry <clears throat> or any place that poison oak may reside, wear long sleeves, wear long pants, <clears throat> and before you touch your face, before you touch your car, um, scrub your hands. So I don't care if you scrub it with um, pre-moistened hand towel, um, what I do is I have a washcloth um, which has some dish soap and some water on it. Again, the key is to actually scrub. It's not necessary that you scrub with any particular product. Okay, so the uh, American Medical Association uh, has um, pretty good description on how or, or protocol on how to scrub your hands. Do that except use a washcloth to do it and again um, I'll use dish soap and water. So make sure that you scrub between your fingers, scrub the back of your hands, scrub the hands yourself and <clears throat> make sure that you do this thoroughly. I want you to understand that one nanogram, which is one billionth of a gram, is enough to give you the rash. Okay? And uh, to put that in perspective, if you were to put a drop on the end of a pen, a pen if you put a drop on the end of a pen, <clears throat> there's enough there to expose 500 people. So it's imperative that you truly get it scrubbed off. 